The cow festival occurs yearly on the fourth day of fall and is a celebration of all things cow related. The event will trigger if you go to the Green Ranch before 6 p.m. As is the case with most festivals, your day will end afterwards, so be sure to do all of your chores in advance. If you haven't entered a cow into the competition, you can judge the other cows, sample the milk, and chat with the townspeople while you're there. In your first year of the game, it's unlikely that you'll have an adult cow ready to enter the contest. Early in the game, money is pretty scarce and it costs $6,000 to buy one cow plus an additional $1,800 for a milker from Rick's shop once your cow grows up. To win the cow festival, there's some advanced preparation required. In order to enter a cow into the competition, your cow must be fully grown and be producing milk. In addition to this, you must have shipped at least 60 milk containers. The size, or which cow they come from, doesn't matter as long as you've shipped 60 of them in total. Most importantly, your cow must have high affection. Raising the affection of your cows is easy and will come naturally to most players. Making sure they're fed and brushed, and also talking to them and milking them every day once they've matured will do the trick. You can also increase the affection of your cows by putting them outside to graze on sunny days and making sure that they don't get rained on or blown away in a typhoon. Also, it's rumored that if your cow has a calf or is born on your farm, that they're happier than the cows you purchase from the Green Ranch, but I'm not sure exactly by how much or how to quantify that particular stat. The long story short, if your cow is producing large milk, you're close to or already at the affection level you've required to win the cow competition. There are plenty of guides out there that get into some of the exact specifics of cow affection mechanics for anyone that might be interested in the finer details. A few days before the festival, Kent will drop by the farm and tell you which cow he thinks has the best chance of winning. You should enter the cow he suggests when Doug stops by for your entry on fall third. In my experience, I took Kent's advice and my cow Sammy won. She was born on my farm and had given birth to a calf at one point, but wasn't pregnant at the time she was entered. The reward for winning the festival is a really nice payoff for all your hard work in the form of cold hard cash. Your winning cow will start producing golden milk, which sells for $500 a piece. There's also an opportunity to get a picture if you can manage to win the cow festival. To fulfill the picture requirements, your winning cow needs to be outside grazing on the day after the festival. If you do this, the three self-proclaimed pretty girls that often appear only at festivals will drop by and want to take a picture with you and your cow. Your picture comes in the mail the next day and is a nice addition to your album. Even though the cow festival takes a long time to prepare for, it's a true joy in Harvest Moon 64 to care for the cows and to see their smiling faces every day. I wish you all the very best of luck in getting your cows to fall in love with you and finally getting to taste that sweet, sweet golden milk. Thank you very much for watching.